What is going on guys? It's Wargame and today in this video I'm going to be rating my skins from best to or from worst to best. So if you've ever played Fortnite, you've obviously wanted a skin or wanted to buy the battle pass. Or even you might have bought a battle pass or a skin. I have 28 skins and we're gonna be rating them all today. Maybe not all today, we may have a part two. But I have bought too many skins, that's just my opinion. <laughs> so in the number 28 spot, we're gonna have Moonwalker. In my opinion, the Moonwalker is a bad skin. Moonwalker is from the Season 3 Battle Pass, which is the girl uh, astronaut. I just don't like it. Th there's no color, and it's basically a default skin in a suit. Like, I'd rather use Blue Team Leader than this skin. And a lot of people aren't that controversial because people love the Blue Team Leader. But like, I just don't like Moonwalker, it's just not a great skin. So that's going to take your number 28 spot. So in our next spot, we're going to have the Battle Hawk. So Battle Hawk is just a terrible skin. Why would I use a Battle Hawk if I could use a blue superhero? Like, why? Battle Hawk is just not a good skin. It's basically a noob skin. And I, why would you use this over Carbine? I don't know. So that's going to take up our number 27 spot, and it's just, I don't know why Battle Hawk was even in the Battle Pass. I don't even know why it's an epic skin. It's just not a good skin. It's a noob skin. Why would you wear it? So yeah, once again, that's our number 27 spot. So number 26 on our list is going to be Mission Specialist. This is the male astronaut from the Season 3 Battle Pass, and the reason why it's ranked higher then the Moonwalker is because it has more color. Other than that, it's basically the same as the Moonwalker, and it just it's basically once again a noob with an astronaut skin on. I like epic. It was a good idea, but just maybe try something different. So once again, that's our 26 spot. So our number 25 spot is going to be Squad Leader. Squad Leader isn't a bad skin. I just don't use it much, and I have so many other skins I'd rather use in it, and that's why I don't use it as much. If it had a cool back bling, I'd use the back bling on a different skin. I just don't like the Squad Leader. It's basically Neymar in an army suit. I mean, it's pretty cool, but not really. So, number 24 on our list is gonna be Absolute Zero. So this is a skin that I'm using right now, and I actually like the skin. But the reason why it's solo on the list, because I don't use it as much, and I have a lot of better skins in it, I've only used this skin maybe twice in like the past month, or maybe two months. I just don't use it. So that's our number 24 spot. So our number 23 spot is dedicated to Zoe. Zoe isn't a bad skin, but it's not a good skin either. The only reason why Zoe is ranked higher is because I use it more and it has color. The only reason why I use it more is because it's relevant and it's a new skin from the Battle Pass. It's the only reason why I use it. So that's Zoe. So the next thing on the list is going to be Valor. Valor is the girl from the recent Battle Pass, which I like. It's red, I like the color, and it's just good. I use it with the Cuddle Team Leader bow, but I just use so many other skins more than this one. So that takes our number 22 spot. The number 21 spot is going to be Dark Voyager. The Dark Voyager is a good skin, but it's also a bad skin. I usually use it for the back bling, and now that the back blings are actually like in the game, I switch it to put on another character. I don't use it anymore. And our number 20 spot is going to be Blue Team Leader. I know people are probably saying, what the hell, how is this solo on the list? The reason why it's still on the list is because everybody has this skin. I only use this skin usually to like twin with my friends, but it's the PlayStation Plus skin. Everybody has it. That's why it's still on the list. There you go. Our number 19 spot is going to be to the Blue Squire. I think this is the male version of the Blue Knight in the uh, Battle Pass for the first one, and it's just not the skin I use a lot. I use a lot of skins more than this one, and that's why it's low on the list. Like, it's not a bad skin. Like, I like it, my friend uses it a lot, 
but it's just not there. And our next spot on the list is going to be the Elite Agent. The Elite Agent is not a bad skin. I like it, I use it not a lot, but I still use this skin quite a bit. But the reason why I don't use it is because it's pretty much all black. She's basically one of those like high-tech commando people, but it's just not enough. It's just not as good as the other skins that I have on this list. In our number 17 spot, I don't have a lot to say. The number 17 spot is the Royal Knight. It's not a bad skin. I like the shield. It's like cool and everything. My friend uses it a lot, but I don't, and that's why it's pretty low on the list. I like the skin more than a lot of the skins in the back, but that's why it's so a bit in the middle. Our next skin is the Rogue Agent. So this was like the first like starter pack of Fortnite. It was not a bad skin. I liked it. I use it quite a bit, but it's basically the male version of the Elite Agent, and I just think it's a little bit better than Elite Agent. That's why it's still in the middle of the list. Now, before you lose your baloney, in our number 15 spot is Omega. Yes, Omega. Don't flip out. Just hear me out here. Omega is a good skin. It's cool. It's like, it's got cool armor. But, just the way that I have it, I don't have any of the cool lights yet. I don't have it maxed out. That's why it's in the middle of the list. Just, I know, just don't rage in the comments. Number 14th spot is Visitor. The Visitor is the blockbuster skin, and I think it's good. The reason why I love it so much is I use it quite a bit, and I love the back bling. It's an amazing back bling. It's just amazing. So, coming in in the 13th spot is going to probably cause quite a, a lot more rage. This is the Rust Lord. Now hear me out. The Rust Lord isn't a bad skin. But it's not the greatest either. Like, I like it, I use it quite a bit, and you know, take the, take the L's on those noobs. But there's also a lot better skins. I know the Omega maybe should have been higher, but that's why it's solo. In the number 12 spot, we have Sparkle Specialist, which is a girl from the first Battle Pass with all the sparkles and stuff on her. I like her, like I have the Disco Brawl, that's why I like to use her a lot. So, technically, she should be lower on the list, but I just like the combination with Disco Brawl and Spark of a Specialist. It's just amazing. And now, our last spot for the video, which is number 11, is going to be Carbine. Now, stop yelling and screaming at your phone or at your computer right now because I have an ex explanation. The reason why I have it higher than Omega is because I have the lights for it, and I have my, one of my favorite colors is blue. I know, guys, don't get mad, I just like it more than Omega for that reason. If I had the lights on Omega, it'd be a good competition, I think Omega would be probably in the top 7 area, but it's just, Carbine is one of my favorite skins that I have, I use it like almost more than the Omega now, it's just there guys, I'm sorry. So the next skin on the list is the Reaper. This is John Wick. I love John Wick, like I love the movie, it was great. But just, it's a good skin. Whenever someone sees this skin, they're like, oh no, it's John Wick. Run. I just use this skin a lot. I like it. It's good. That's why it's number 10 on the list. So the number 9 is the Blue Striker. So this is the new PlayStation guy you can get if you have PlayStation Plus, whatever. It's He's a cool skin. And the reason why he's so much higher on the list than Blue Team Leader is because he actually looks cool. Everyone might have this skin, but I like him because he's just so cool and he's just there. The next skin on our list at number 8 is Technique. Hold your horses, I know. Cole, what do you think? You're crazy. Technique is a good skin. I like it more than the Abstract skin that came out. I just like it. Like, it's actually cool. Like, I like the little mask thing, like, around his neck. It's just such a cool skin. I think it goes, like, so well, like, with a couple of the backpacks that I have. So, the next skin on our list is going to be Bright Bomber. In my opinion, Bright Bomber is an amazing skin. I love it. I, I use it a lot. I love it with the Blockbuster backpack. I just love it so much. I use it, in, like, incredibly a lot. And that's why it's at number seven. 
So the next thing on our list, number six, is the crack shot. The crack shot is that Christmas skin that came out, like the Nutcracker, and I bought it because I thought it looked really cool and I like and it was really funny. Personally, I like funny skins, and that's why I bought it. And I just love the skin so much; I use it a lot, and that's why it's in the number six spot. And the number five spot, we have the Black Knight. This was the, like this was the first battle pass. When, like, I think it was, like, Kira 75 you got this. But, this skin, it just has so much, like, it's just so good. I don't care really about the color. I like how the eyes glow. It's just crazy cool. Like, I like the pickaxe and the ACDC. That's, like, part of it. And just the fact that this was the first, I like, the last item you get in the Battle Pass for the first one ever. It's just so cool. I like that. In the number four spot, we have the Red Knight. The Red Knight has more, like, color to it, and that's the only reason why it's better, because it just has a little bit more color. We sound like we'd be good to merge them. It just, I know, better than the Black Knight, it just sounds weird. So now, number three on our list is Diecast. You guys have probably seen me use some streams and stuff, but it's just a good skin. I love it, I love the metal, it looks amazing. The only reason why it's not higher is because it's basically a noob skin in metal, but I love it. I, and I love that skin, like, a lot more than the other ones. Our number two spot, ladies and gentlemen, is back when the Valentine's update came out, and this is Cuddle Team Leader. Cuddle Team Leader is a good skin. The only reason why it's not first is I don't use it as much as the one in first place, and I don't use it, like, I don't like you know this is the one I use this skin I use a lot I love this skin I use it like with a lot of the backlings it's just too bright and that's why it's at number two in the number one spot taking the cake for the day is Nogops and I know what you're saying what do you mean it's a noob skin in a Christmas outfit which you probably are seeing that right now it is that but I use it so much, it's crazy. Like, I use it, I love it. It's an OG skin from the Christmas update. I loved it. It's, that's why it's in the number one spot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And maybe I'm going to do more top fives and top tens. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to tell you. I'm actually LEA.